En dan gaan we naar uh, Sammy. Sammy Nijrink is weer op pad geweest met uh, zijn mannen. Felix Gal is voorlopig elfde in de beste man voor Age de Zer. Maar dat is niet direct de verwachte naam daar. Daar verwacht je Ben O'Connor, ritwinnaar en vierde in de Tour van 2021 als koopman naar voren geschoven. Maar de Australiër viel in rit 2, viel vorig jaar ook al en haalt niet zijn gebruikelijke niveau. Sammy trok vanmorgen naar het hotel van uh, de Franse ploeg en ging praten met O'Connor zelf, maar ook met zijn vaste kamergenoot en dat is Oliver Nelson. I'm going to make myself an in-bed coffee like uh, like Hart Verhulst. Like what? It's from Samsung. You don't know him? No. National superstar. So it's not George Clooney. It's even better. Even better. <laughs> ben, what would make you a happy man today? To be in the breakaway. <laughs> just that. So simple, but so difficult probably. Yeah. Yeah, it's just hard to judge. Sometimes it's really hard to limit your... Uh, Emotion. He made his fortune speaking with a dog. Really? Yeah. yeah. Weird. I love him. And he also has his coffee machine in the room. His wife brings him coffee and in bed. And that's what I told my wife. When it's my birthday, I want you to bring me a coffee in my bed. She won't even do it. <laughs> Not even on my damn birthday. No, I always make coffees in the morning. Actually, I want to get one of those Lama Zocco ones. Because you want to be in the breakaway. You kind of do stupid things, maybe, to make the move, rather than waiting for the, you know, the, the moment, the best moment. Yeah. FOMO. Yeah, a little bit. Fear of missing out. Yeah. How hard is that? It punishes you straight away, yeah, that's the problem. Yeah. It's the hardest. Yeah, you think is you kind of, you're really screwed when you don't make it. Not so much from the team perspective, but from, from like, the effort that you put in. So the idea is just to go full, but in the end, that's just kind of stupid. Because on the other hand, also, if you go to the break, the purpose is in the end to win the stage. It's not just to be in the break, only for him, at least it's not. So yeah, it's a, it's a hard task. It's not like uh, in the old days with, uh, with Team Sky. I miss him, actually. It was a lot easier. Yeah, they would just let, they would just ride their pace, do their own race, let everybody go who wants to go, who can go faster. Whereas now, uh, yeah, you're obviously still good. It's just like the mindset changed since GC is gone. Yeah, it's hard to dig super deep when you know the objective is gone in front of you. It's a little difficult to, you know, to stay on the wheel with the favourites and suffer that little extra bit of motivation as well. Because in the end, you're not really, you know, you're going to get dropped in the end anyway. That'll be for nothing. What about this guy? What can you tell about Ben Ollie? Ollie? Uh, well, charismatic, never-ending optimism, more or less. So, yeah, I think it's optimism that probably helps the most. He says this because I have a, a saddle injury. <laughs> <laughs> you do? It's, yeah. a, it's a miracle he's still in the race, let's be honest. But yeah, it's just, it's like never, I shouldn't say never gives up, but it's always a look on the brighter side kind of mindset, which is like the opposite to my own mindset in general. But he's like your guardian angel. Guardian angel. Yeah, bodyguard Maybe. kind of thing is what the boys like to say, but yeah. Your butler? Butler? <laughs> no. It's, slave, why not? It's, yeah. <laughs> slave? No, it's more the, he's like, he's the person that reduces stress in the race. I don't have to think about where I have to position myself. I just follow him. So just, just him, just his wheel, and that's it. And the stressful days, the days I hate the most, it's Ollie that kind of like, just guide you all day. What about this Tour de France in general? Is it love or hate? Is it like a sweet sour relationship? Uh, You've been fourth two years ago. Last year you did not finish yeah. due to an injury. I guess you've experienced everything. I've experienced the lows of big crashes, experienced the highs of winning a stage and finishing fourth overall. And now I've also DNF'd. And now I've also been here now. Probably not at my best, so. I've had three editions with three completely different uh, experiences, which is, uh, yeah, interesting, let's say that. Ben O'Connor, can he ooit the Tour de France winner? No, I think not. No, winning. As you look at Vingegaard and uh, Poggi, they are all a bit younger. And they see not out of what they're going to go tomorrow and still fall. But the ceiling is not there yet. No, 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 I mean, I've I finished fourth before, so I know yeah. that that's what I can do again. It's just all the preparation and you have to have the stars aligned and somehow my stein's mal aligned coming into here. But 
I still enjoyed today because it was a better performance. Do you nog a year to buy? A year to buy? Dat mijn volgende contract dat ik teken, dat zal twee jaar zijn. En uh, dan zou ik graag of zo twee keer één jaar, of, dat, je elk, dat je jaar na jaar kunt zien hoe dat de zaken staan. Uh. En bij wie? Is die keuze al gemaakt? Uh, oh, ik denk wel echt dat ik gewoon ga blijven. Dit mogen we weten? Ja, ja. Okay. hij mocht dat weten van mij. Super. Oh, goed. Merci voor alles. Jullie ook. Bedankt om deze Sporza video te bekijken. Een like of reactie achterlaten mag altijd. En vergeet ons zeker niet te volgen. Dat doe je hier. En wil je meer video's zien? Check zeker VRT Max of klik hier. Bedankt om deze Sporza video te bekijken. Een like of reactie achterlaten mag altijd. En vergeet ons zeker niet te volgen. Dat doe je hier. En wil je meer video's zien? Check zeker VRT Max of klik hier.